Hello, good morning, folks. It's uh, should we say good afternoon now. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets from an intermarket analysis perspective. As always, this is a mid-afternoon or mid-morning uh, report for the European indices, and uh, bringing you uh, an insight as to this uh, global market sell-off at present. Uh, please do visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers. www.tradesignaler.com and you can download this uh, app via the uh, Google uh, Play Store and the uh, Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market uh, movements, the Asian markets, let's start off with. Uh, the um, Shanghai certainly closed positive overnight. The Hang Seng more or less flat to, to negative, and uh, the Nikkei down 1%. Now the Nikkei and the Shanghai, both from a, from a inter-market analysis perspective, or just from a technical perspective, both are into support. As you can see here, Nikkei is into support. Uh, the Shanghai certainly obviously into uh, support as well. So therefore looking for a potential bounce in European indices. Now, I've been stopped out on my long CAC trade this morning on my long Euro stocks as well. It certainly seems to be stopped out frequently ever since last week. Last Friday I was positive and uh, certainly finished down 130 for the for the week. And now currently at the moment plus, plus, uh, minus 128 for the week. So stopped out on my Aussie trade, stopped out on my uh, long, um, uh, long CAC trade as well. So certainly um, a series of stop losses for me at present, and this market certainly isn't holding support. Even though Asian markets certainly indicated so, it certainly doesn't seem to be the case at present. Now let's have a look at the actual uh, news flow in terms of uh, this morning. Now um, news flow is generally overall net net positive. Uh, let's just have a look here. I mean you had the uh, Japanese industrial production certainly stronger overnight. Uh, now you also had... Uh, CPI coming in line in Italy, well, that's not really a major concern. Uh, you had inflation data lower in the UK, so again, helping the uh, the the, whole, uh, the uh, dovish camp and therefore positive for equities. Industrial production out of the uh, eurozone came in stronger, uh, and employment change more or less came in uh, came in certainly stronger as well. So certainly overall net net positive. Uh, we are looking forward to uh, uh, US data now. Business optimism index certainly came in uh, in line. We have retail sales in the next 50, 50 odd minutes, and uh, and that will certainly dictate. Uh, the uh, the actual movements in the market. So at present, my bias, like I said, certainly remains positive. Uh, looking for a higher uh, market to move higher. That's my interpretation thus far. Certainly looking for a potential bottom in the FTSE 100 as well. Okay, now let's try and uh, give you an insight here as to European markets. Let's start off with the European 350. I did expect the European 350 to hold this support. Obviously, it's breached that now. We are into this next support zone now. Uh, the unfilled gap remains at uh, 1260. So again, that's a possibility. Again, it's very confusing to see European markets moving this low, given the fact that we have corporate bond buying, we have bonds making new highs as well. So um, certainly very, very confusing at present, okay? Uh, from my perspective, certainly looking for a bounce. Now, the daily chart of the German DAX at the moment, you can see here we are now potentially putting in a bottoming tail on the daily chart, so that 9,500 uh, 9, certainly is holding support. So the German DAX is already telling you and advertising to you that it wants to move higher. Now we have a series of gaps that need to be closed on the upside and as you can see here we've hit pivot s3 support uh, and the market certainly has made a low for the day from my understanding and we are looking to potentially move high on the back of stronger eu data okay 10 minute chart the german dax at present you have this inverted head and shoulders formation looking for this to play out and close the gap at the 9660 zone on the uh, the german dax so keep an eye on that zone 9660 above okay now in terms of the uh, alternative indices, let's have a look at the uh, volatility index first of all. A uh, volatility index is certainly coming into resistance as you can see here. The French CAC volatility index certainly coming into resistance uh, in terms of the Eurozone. Also European indices, let's just look at the European V-stocks as well. Uh, the V-stocks certainly putting in a topping tail and obviously putting in a bearish candle as well. So again, you are looking at potential resistance or in terms of volatility and therefore that's bullish for equity markets. So that's certainly indicating to you that all the bearish news certainly has been baked into the cake. Looking at the CAC 40, you are looking at support here in this region. Okay, your horizontal support, uh, you're into gap fill, uh, sorry, not gap fill, sorry, pivot S3 support on the 10 minute chart. The market certainly has flush and you are making a potential bottom here. So certainly looking for a bounce, okay. Uh, the bounce itself will be up to the uh, uh, previous support equals resistance and uh, gap fill. So any bounce will certainly be restricted here, and you are looking at potential 4226 gap closing as well. And then you have multiple resistance zones above, so we'll see as uh, the market approaches. But for now, certainly looking for a, double, uh, for a potential pivot low in European equities. Okay, now in terms of the 
looking at the euro stocks as well. Let's just bring up the euro stocks. Let's see where that's trading at, at present. Even the stock 600, I expected the stock 600 to hold the gap. Gap Hill and uh, horizontal support. We've certainly failed there as well. So again, the next level of support is there and you have one fill gap below. In terms of the euro stocks, I'm trying to locate the euro stocks at present. Okay, I can't find that. Let's just move on to the FTSE 100 then. Now, the FTSE 100, from my perspective, certainly seems to have uh, factored in a lot of the bearish news now. And uh, certainly uh, from a Brexit perspective, given the fact there's no more polls, uh, oil uh, demand certainly gro uh, growing as well. So certainly looking for higher prices here. Okay, so in terms of the FTSE, 60-minute uh, chart on the FTSE, let's just go to the uh, small time frame, 60-minute chart. You can see that we are in this bearish channel and looking to potentially test the upper channel or potentially even break out. So either or. Okay, in terms of FTSE, a retest of 6050 certainly is on the cards. You're approaching Pivot S3 as well, uh, RSI certainly oversold. So they're certainly looking for a potential rebound here. 10 minute chart certainly has uh, made a, um, a potential base. Okay, so again, uh, keep an eye on that base uh, in concert with the uh, European indices. Certainly has made a base. Okay, so again, looking for gap fill uh, in terms of market movements higher than you have uh, gap fill here. Okay, so that zone certainly will be potential uh, resistance on the on the upside. So, again, a uh, short squeeze certainly into that level. Okay, so watch out for that particular zone. Okay, now in terms of uh, the uh, Aussie and Kiwi, let's just bring those up for you as well. Give you an insight. If uh, the Chinese markets are into uh, we see support, then you are looking at those two uh, pairs certainly moving higher as well. Uh, let's just quickly look at the Eurobond for you, and you can see here Eurobond daily chart making new highs. Uh, and again, that certainly is uh, is is net net bearish for the uh, uh, euro, and obviously is bullish for European equities. So certainly bear that in mind. Okay, uh, let's just bring up the euro. Even euro European banks. I mean, look at the stock six hundred banking index. Banking index is into support as well. So. Certainly looking for a potential bounce here now in European indices, even the FTSE banks sector, as you can see here, we've failed to hold 75% and now we're into horizontal support. So the banking sector in the FTSE is certainly looking for a potential bounce as well. I mean, all the sectors in the FTSE more or less are on the verge of bouncing as well, especially with oil. Let's just quickly bring up Brent crude for you as well. As you can see, Brent crude holding support, so therefore looking for a potential bounce in the FTSE. Crude oil, I'll bring up a chart of crude oil for you as well, folks. Okay, crude oil certainly into horizontal support as well, and therefore looking for a bounce there too. So certainly um, uh, you are looking into a 200 MA support, and therefore looking for a bounce in oil. So everything is indicating that you are looking for a potential pop in European indices. Okay, and my bias certainly remains bullish. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs, and uh, certainly take it in that 25% bonus. Cool.